Meanwhile, workers on the Marilla Discovery 2, who arrived on the island two weeks ago, are livid over their positive COVID-19 tests. The government revealed that six of the nine positive cases recorded yesterday were from the Marilla Discovery 2. The workers insist they were all negative while on board the ship. Kirk Wright has a story. Jamaican workers from the Marilla Discovery 2 are stunned at yesterday's discovery that six of them have now tested positive for the coronavirus. Bob, not his real name, explained why he surprised at the news. There wasn't any record of us having any virus on our ship. So how is it possible that all of a sudden we came to Jamaica and most of the person who, who, who they are saying that of the virus is more than discovered too. Another Jamaican ship worker, we'll call James, sent us a document he says is proof that throughout their entire time on board the Marilla 2, everyone was tested negative for the virus. When I leave the ship, I leave the ship negative. I came to Jamaica the 6th of May and they test us the 7th, which is the Thursday. And then I heard that they find some of the guy positive. My, my result did come back negative. So I did fine when I came here on the 6th. The 7th when they test us and the result come back, I did fine. My one was, was negative. Until I do one more test, the, the 19th of May, my result come back the 20th when I supposed to go home from my quarantine. They said I test positive. James says they were all tested twice per day. On April 1, while the Marilla 2 was in Jamaican waters, the Jamaican workers were not allowed to come off the ship because the authorization from the government did not come in time. The ship sailed away and made its first stop in the Dominican Republic and then to Europe. During this voyage, the workers say tests done on board showed no one on board had symptoms of COVID-19. But Bob says even though they were in separate cabins and maintained physical distance while on the vessel, when they got to the airport in London to board the flight to Jamaica, in his words, it was horrible. It was a very long wait. You understand? And it was hundreds. It was, you know, a lot of us outside. And everyone was, you know, in like a bungalow. Everyone was, you know, touching each other because everyone wanted to go to. It was very cold. And, you know, the process was, was just very long because there were other persons coming from the United Kingdom joining us, plus the Dominicans who were traveling with us as well. So, you know, everyone was just in one big cluster and trying to get through to actually, you know, you know um, go through that, you know, that process. And even after we go to the checkpoint, we, we, we had to wait in the waiting era. Bob says he's skeptical of the news that they have tested positive. He feels politics is at play and that he and his colleagues are now left to pay the price. And based on the fact that we were actually in Jamaican waters and the, the government did nothing and because the media and different personnel start pressuring them because they did not do anything. It's like no one wants to take the blame. But because of that, it's like they're trying to prove a point that, hey, the reason why we didn't take you, look what is happening. So many of you guys are, are, are being tested positive. You understand things like they're trying to now prove a point based on the fact that they realize that they messed up because they didn't actually accept us while we're actually in, you know, Jamaican water. Kirk Wright, TVJ News.